Men of Reddit, what was the best thing a woman has ever said to you? I did not give birth to you and we might not match on a DNA test, but you are my son no matter what anybody says. Said by my best friend's mom. She has been like a mother to me all my life taking care of me while my mother's alcoholism escalated over the years. I love her with all my heart and when she said it I just started crying. I never doubted her caring but having the verbal confirmation was just so touching. I graduated college 10 years ago. I still think about the time someone told me 8am classes suck less with me there. When my wife was dying of cancer, she had one of those bitter evenings where she lashed out at how unfair for her to be fighting for her life at age 39. She was lashing out at how unfair for her children to grow up without her and for her to miss seeing the adults they would become. She shared how every single moment of every day was full of struggle, pain, and fatigue, and she was bitter and angry about it. I told her something I'd felt ever since she got sick, that I wished cancer took me instead. She looked at me through her bitterness and pain and said, I would never want this pain to happen to you. That was the most selfless, loving thing I've ever heard, and it helped me so much as I dealt with survivor's guilt after she died. This conversation happened nine years ago when our youngest was four. He's 13 now and will be the best man in my wedding this Saturday. We were lucky enough to find someone who loved our little mess and, after six years of dating, I finally proposed. I feel confident my late wife would approve of where we are now. By her telling me it was okay to live on, I was able to do that. My girlfriend in college once gave a Valentine's Day card. In it, it said, I'm glad I met you. Seems a bit unromantic, maybe, but this gal was always awkward at expressing herself, I was too. A lot of people say I love you, and don't mean it, sometimes they think they mean it. But when she wrote, I'm glad I met you, I knew she meant it. Like, she really meant it. She was all nervous to give me the card too. I thought it was very sweet, and I couldn't get the card out of my head for weeks. A friend told me she preferred how I looked bald rather than when I had a ton of hair and that I was a great looking bald guy. This meant so much as I am bald due to alopecia areata and legit used to have thick flowing locks so it was a hard process choosing to shave my head that first time. Random girl from work, told me I looked good and asked me what I was doing to lose weight. I had never ever gotten a compliment like that before and it felt good. Made me more motivated to keep on track. My wife and I have been together 16 years, married for 9. Father-in-law flew in from out of state to visit and rented a minivan for us all to go do things while he was in town. We were on the road and I texted my wife something about his driving and she texted back, I feel like at this point I just hate anyone driving who isn't you. I don't know why that was so impactful, but something about that statement really validated my existence. A girl in my class said, you're a sweet, adorable and a nice person. Also my best friend's mom, we weren't that close back then, said that I'm a good man and she trusts me with her daughter's life. She said that if she had a son, she would have wanted him to be like me. What her mom told me has had an effect on me and I actually teared up a little on hearing it. My mom never said she was proud of me. A girl complimented my outfit about six years ago and I still remember it vividly. I was in Nashville for a work conference and was walking back to the hotel one evening. A couple of women were sitting on some steps across the street from me when one of them yelled, Hey white boy. I stopped and turned towards them, then she yelled again, You fine as heck. I thanked them, then immediately called my wife to tell her I'm officially fine as heck. I recently got out of treatment and I got really close with the women there. When I was getting ready to leave they went on and on for minutes about how kind, loving, genuine, act. I was. It brought me to tears. After years of addiction and hating myself, that hit hit me so hard. Not a woman, but a little girl. I'm a guy with long hair, and she told me that I look like a princess. Her parents were mortified but I took it as a the little girl giving me the highest compliment that she could think of. I like your glasses. Random girl who walked past me, she didn't even pause when she spoke, on 15th of March 2019. A friend when I was younger gave me a birthday card that said something like, I'm glad you exist. It was such a simple thing but I guess no one had ever really said that to me before. It meant the world for some reason. Naturally I fell head over heels in love with her shortly afterwards but that's a different story. Not long afterwards we ended up both joining a film club, this was in high school, and we were both actors in some cringy but funny live action Dungeons and Dragons movie the club was making. I was a blind samurai and she was a river siren, 
barred thing. Anyway it involved us going out to this big property in the woods and filming a ton and we just hit it off during that. She was in band and would bring her ukulele with her to the set and I just couldn't get enough of hearing her play it and sing. She was recently out of a relationship though so we decided to not be very public about things for a while which ended up really mentally wearing on me. I don't remember how long we dated but we ended up breaking up shortly before graduation. I actually still have a note she wrote me while we dated, only letter someone ever wrote me. Good times. Not directly to me, but in my presence. Our daughter was only about 6 months old at the time, and some friends asked my wife how parenthood had been, and she said, I'm a little surprised at how great a dad my husband has been. Not that she thought I was bad, but that I was even better than she expected. I don't know if anyone said something nicer about me. Once after I admitted that I often find myself physically repulsive and have a hard time believing that I could be accepted, a female friend of mine who generally doesn't like physical contact with others sat on my lap and hugged me to prove me wrong and told me that I'm good enough. Recently I visited a buddy from elementary school. I went down to celebrate his 30th and him buying his first home to raise his new family in. When I got to meet his wife, she told me she heard all about me and I was the only person buddy was talking about for the past week. Maybe not the best thing I got, but it really struck a chord in me that I have a pretty awesome friend. Not a woman but my six-year-old niece looked at me intently and said Tio, why are you so handsome? That's probably the only compliment I'll ever need from another girl for as long as I live. I was getting rejected from a bunch of psychology doctoral programs, and I was at an all-time personal low. My wife, who pushed me to pursue school and stop breaking my body in factory jobs, said something that I'm ashamed to say I don't remember verbatim. But to paraphrase. If all you ever do is fail, I'm proud of you for trying. I never did get into a program, I abandoned psychology and started learning programming, and now I'm a software engineer. But if she hadn't supported me through those times, I'd probably be destroying what's left of me in some warehouse. I would never have thought enough of myself to reach higher without her support. The wife was sick recently. I spent the morning cleaning the house and entertaining the kid. She looked at me and told me that I was a good husband and a good father. It felt so validating. One woman once told me that I looked cute with my beard. I still look at that message from time to time whenever I'm feeling down. My future wife the night we met, told me I had kind eyes. Melted me, 